I had to clear something and accidentally stopped the recording. Um, so we'll finish this up real quick. The facsimile edition looks identical to the original with the exception that the price is different. So the original price uh, of an actual Amazing Spider-Man 252 is like 60, 75 cents, somewhere in there. Um, I don't have one on hand. I sent mine off to be graded. Um, and the, the Wolverine, the Incredible Hulk 181 is even less, I think. Uh, no, I'm positive. It's even less than that. Um, but the cover price on the facsimile edition, where it would say 75 or 60 cents for the for the ASM 252, it's like four bucks. And the same with the Hulk 181, it's like four bucks. So be careful uh, if you're out there collecting, because if a book has a cover price over a dollar, um, especially a dollar and a quarter, because because people think it, it's funny when you're when you're surfing auctions. When you're surfing sales, when you're looking at the cost of books, um, the word vintage comes up a lot. And the word vintage, as far as I know, is like the word antique. It just means it's 20 years old or older. So anything that was published in 1999 or earlier is considered vintage. Now, the problem with that is it... Um, through the mid to late 80s and especially throughout the 90s comics caught on as mass market publishing and so there's a whole lot of tricks and stunts that they use out there to sell issues um to to try and raise the value of an issue or or to move it like nowadays variant covers are a big deal um and they try and but but the value of a comic is always determined by its scarcity um, and so in their mass producing stuff in the nineties, uh, most of it's not worth anything. So even you think the, the Bane storyline to Nightfall, Night Quest, all that, uh, is worth something, but most of those issues are worth two bucks each, especially depending on quality. Quality will kill the value of a book, uh, faster than anything else. Um, yeah, I've got a couple books in the collection that if they were mint would be worth, couple thousand but in the condition they're in are worth 20 to a couple hundred depending on the book um so yeah watch out for facsimile editions uh watch out for reprints i i don't tend to buy them um who knows maybe we'll talk about this a little more now that is not to say that recent books have no value um but it still comes back to scarcity like Ultimate Fallout 4, the first full appearance of Miles Morales as Spider-Man, they didn't know it was going to catch on. So the Miles is going to catch on as big as he has. So there's a first print run, there's a second print run, there's a couple variant covers. Um, but the value of that book is fluctuating based on scarcity and market demand. Um, I got mine for two bucks, but I was in a used bookstore. You can get one off the internet for 75 or a couple hundred, depending on who's selling and who's buying. Ultimately, any book is worth what a person is willing to pay for it. And post-apocalypse, it'll all be kindling for the fire, I suppose. No, no, I won't burn the comics collection, I promise. So, there you go. Just wanted to share some of what I'm doing, some of what brings me joy, and yeah. Upstairs, my neighbors are loud. Uh, talk to you soon. Peace.